If you're planning on selling your silver, is it in your best interest to sell it to the big online bullion dealers, local coin shop, or somewhere else? We're going to talk about it, so stay tuned. Well, hey, YouTube, what is going on? Welcome to another edition of Silver and Gold Stack Attack, episode number 64. Uh, as always, I'd like to thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to check out the new video. I mean, the reality is there are tons of stacking channels to choose from on YouTube, and, well, hell, it means a lot to me that you've chosen to be here. And if you'd like to support this channel, then, well, why not click on that thumbs up, comment down below, or subscribe if you haven't already done so. All those actions help to promote the channel, and you know I humbly appreciate all the support. Alright, let's get going here. So the title of this video pertains to selling your silver. Now, as far as dealers are concerned, buying your silver, uh, the quote-unquote silver shortage and premiums have definitely gone up, but so have the dealers buy over spot values. Well, with that being said, is it in your best interest to sell to these guys, or well, are there better alternatives? We're going to go over some options, but uh, bear in mind, these options and their rankings are just my own personal opinion. We can always agree to disagree. That's the beauty of YouTube. So let's roll. All right, option number one, pawn shops. Uh, this isn't just a no option. It's a hell friggin' no option. Look, the reality is this. Pawn shops make their money by preying on people who need money. And since they have to make money as a business, well, hell, they're going to lowball you on just about anything you bring in the door especially silver and gold. Uh, to me, this is by far the worst option for selling your precious metals. Unless you're insanely desperate, don't even consider it. Uh, too many of these places employ a bunch of carnies and used car salesmen. And let me qualify it. I'm not saying all pawn shop folks are bad, but too many of them are stupid focused on getting your valuables at a low ball price than selling them at a high end price. It's what they do. Option number two, online dealers and eBay. Uh, it looks like SD Bullion will offer you the most for Eagles and Maples. And let's face it, those are the two most uh, liquid bullion coins out there. So there's, it's no wonder. Um, they'll go anywhere from eight to 750 over spot uh, on the Eagles and Maples four to 350 over spot. Uh, let's use the Maple as an example. So if they wanna pay for under 20, 22 uh, Maple Leafs, they want to pay 350 over spot, so take that 2591 spot price, add this to it, and you come up with 2941. So that's our range. 2941 is what we're looking at. Just out of curiosity, I wanted to see what they're selling for on eBay. So we've got 35, 32, uh, 32, 39. That one's got a privy on it, so I'm not going to count that one. Colorized, yeah. Uh, 36, 30, 31, 30, 29, 27, 30. 29 so figure we're averaging about what 30 I'd say on average $32 online on eBay for the maples so 32 versus 2941 that you would get here yeah uh, you, you know you're in the game you're at least in the game and with these Eagles depending on what you paid you could be in the game now <laughs> better prices are being made on eBay but you do have to factor in shipping and eBay's insanely increasing fees uh, I quit selling on there just because of that. Um, personally, I'm of the belief that selling to dealers and eBay, you know, that should be one of your options if, if you're hurt and you really need to get it going. But you'll do okay with the government back stuff like Eagles and Maples at SD Bullion. You know, their buyback price will at least put you in the game, but that depends on what you paid. Um, of course, if you got in a few years ago and you bought your silver uh, Eagles and Maples under 20 bucks, then hell, you're going to be just fine. Uh, this is a scenario that would actually benefit you for the most part, the, the buyback from SD Bullion. But I still contend that you can make more through other avenues. Option number three, LCSs. Uh, local coin shops are a fantastic place to talk shop and buy bullion without the hassle of paying the shipping that the big bullion dealers charge unless you go over a certain amount. Uh, it's also a place where you can liquidate your PMs if you need to. Now, that being said, is this your best option and best return for value? Probably not. 
While you can build up a rapport with your friendly neighborhood shop owner, and they'll likely give you a competitive price, it might not necessarily be the best price. Uh, I've talked to mine for the better part of the last year and a half, and, you know, we've bandied prices in the event I never needed to sell anything, which, as of right now, I have no plan on doing. But he's given me a much better return quote than I'd ever get from an online dealer, so that's a plus. Uh, but he is still in business to make money, and while this is a decent option, it's probably not the most conducive for the best return, so... You have to keep in mind that every LCS will be different in what they offer you in buybacks. Um, you might actually have a sweet deal worked out somewhere, so that could make it an attractive option. Option number four, online groups. Uh, online groups such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, whatever. Uh, any of those platforms can be a great option to sell your precious metals. A lot of the folks on there are knowledgeable and they know what you have and more often than not, they're willing to meet your price if you're within reason. Uh, a lot of sales take place this way, and that often leads to satisfied buyers and sellers, regardless of which end you're on. But all that being said, you have to use caution and a lot of it when you're dealing on those platforms. Uh, there are some real ass muppets on all these groups who are looking to screw people over, so it is a realistic possibility. Always get references from other group members when a buyer makes an offer to you, and never Never ship product until you have money in hand. Uh, if you become a trusted resource on those forums, you'll have no trouble. Now, as an added opinion, I do not recommend Craigslist or any other type of anonymous sites that uh, might involve meeting in person to make the exchange. You know, you could easily be setting yourself up to get ambushed. Um, read about it. It's been in the news. It happens. It's been happening for years. It is a reality. And it's something to keep in mind. And if you're thinking about Facebook Marketplace as a cheap selling platform, don't bother. They do not allow bullion sales of any kind. Silver, gold, nothing. Uh, as far as Facebook goes, I am not a Mark Zuckerberg fan. I, as a matter of fact, I think he's an alien overlord scumbag. But that's just my opinion of him. His vaunted little platform allows tons and tons of scammers to advertise on there, and especially for PMs. Uh, and the company does nothing to combat them. You can report them all day long. Nothing's going to happen. Not as long as little Zuck keeps collecting his advertising money anyway. All right, real quick, we're going to summarize. We're going to go over the options one more time. Rank worst to best. Number four, pawn shops. Look, just avoid these at all costs and advise your family of the same. Uh, especially if they inherit your stack when you pass away or give it to them. Number three, the online bullion big boys, or the O triple Bs, as I call them. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad choice. It's just not going to give you the best return. Still, it's way better than any pawn shop, that's for sure. Number two, LCSs. Uh, if you've built up a friendship with your LCS dealer, you might be able to get a more competitive offer on your stuff than, say, the O triple Bs. But um, just remember... He's got to eat. But the best option to me is the online groups. Uh, again, this is where you're going to mingle with other stackers who know what you have, and there'll be plenty of buyers to the point where you should be able to meet your asking price. Uh, they all know there's no such thing as buying it just over spot, especially when it comes to collector and limited edition pieces. You know, just be sure to deal with approved buyers with references from others in the group before you make any kind of a deal. All right, so there you have it, my rankings of different ways to sell you silver. Now, since I've started stacking, I have yet to sell a single ounce of any precious metals. Uh, to me, now isn't the time. It's not my goal. Uh, everybody knows that silver is a long hold, so that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, besides, for what I have in some of these, like this one here, um, yeah, I would never get back what I have into them uh, if I were to sell at SD Bullion. Uh, this bar cost me about 310 bucks, and you break that down, that's about, what, 31 bucks an ounce. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, I was willing to pay it because I love this bar. I love things, all things Britannia. So this was a must-have for my 10-ounce collection. But if I were to sell to SD Bullion at their buyback price, I'm looking at a whopping 70 cents over spot, and there is no effing way I'm selling this bar for, what, 266 bucks and 10 cents uh-uh ain't happening not happening in this universe jack now i know i can put this bar on sale uh, uh online 
in a silver group and make a hell of a lot more than 266 bucks if I ever needed to sell it. It's a collectible bar, but the old triple B's aren't concerned with that. I mean, can you imagine letting a vintage Engelhard or Pamp Swiss bar go for 266 bucks? Well, I sure in the hell can't. Anyway, that is going to wrap up episode number 64. If you made it this far, I appreciate it. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments section, so let me know where you'd go if you had to liquidate any of your silver. Um, I will see you next time in a new video, but in the meantime, you know what to do. You know what to do, guys. That's right. Get stacked. Stay safe, everybody. I am out of here. Peace.